Hello and welcome to the video. Before we get started, if you'd like to provide input on future content and get our weekly newsletter, click on our survey. Uh, the link will be below. We also have uh, a report on Ethereum 2, along with a bonus report on why you should learn Solidity now. Again, the link will be below. Now on to the video and thank you. Okay, so um, last night I ran to some problems with my machine. I'm using a different machine. I'm using my Windows box. So um, I want, I'm going to try to go through the demo. I'm not 100% sure I have all the libraries, um, but we shall see. Um, so I have a, a uh, command window open. And I am going to now get the code that we're going to try to build. So, let's do that. Um, there we go. So, this is a typical git clone. Uh, let me copy this to make sure I'm accurate here. And... I'm going to copy that and this should just bring it in and you can see it's doing that. It's downloading the source code that we looked at the other day and then hopefully when we just go into the Solana directory and do cargo build, uh, it'll decide that it wants to just work. <laughs> um, so, on um, Linux, of course, there was that sudo apt get and getting all the uh, libraries. So, hopefully we have what we need. But, um, what this is going to do is build the actual um, Solana uh, uh, validator, or CLI rather. And that also includes the test validator node. And um, we'll see what happens. You can see it's getting everything it needs. Um, I'm not sure. I've... And checked out. And so used to doing LS. All right. So now we have all our code and we're in the directory. And we're going to do cargo build and see what happens. See if it, so it looks like it's going to get what it needs, but we'll see. And it looks like it's doing a major fetch here. And then it should proceed to build once it has all it needs. Now, this, the... Cargo file probably specifies, the, I mean, I think it specifies the dependencies that you may have. Um, of course, Maven, in the Java world, you specify dependencies and it figures out, it can talk directly to the Maven repository and get exactly what you need. So, looks like it's happily pulling down what it needs in order to build all kinds of different libraries that you can see. Uh, and there it goes. You can see how much stuff it uses to build Solana. And oh, this is going to take, this is going to take some, this can take some time because it looks like it needs to get 850 different things. So um, we'll be back when this is completed so as to not waste your time. And uh, see you in a few. Okay, so I attempted to build it and this is what I was running into. It's not finding the um, open SSL. Stuff. So what I did is I did download an OpenSSL 
and I put it in, uh, created a, um, uh, the path to these things. And now what I have to do, and I don't know if this is going to work. Um, I had tried this and this wasn't right, the rust thing. So let me try something. I got to start, restart, you know, with Windows you just can't do source like you can in Unix. So let's go back here and see if that works. Oh, this has to be on the D drive. Okay. Try to build it now and see if it can find it. Now, this, we may, yeah. It, so what's it complaining about now? Um... Version starts. With OX. So. Let's see. So it has the include. It has. The lib. And. Open SSL includer. So what is it saying? Rerun if changed. Okay. So it looks like it wants this set too. And why is it complaining? It's panicking because version starts with 0x. Um, Okay, let's try this. What I'm probably going to have to do is do some more research on this. About, somehow I think this would have been easier in uh, Linux. Okay. Oh, I see what they're saying. Build Rust Backtrace. Trace equals, oh, I think it's set, I think it's set, there we go, now let's try it again, see if it says anything else, any more clues, it somehow does not like the, okay, it's giving me some more information. Version starts with 0x. Okay, well, this is odd. So, I'm going to have to do a bit more research with this. Um, so, what did we get through? We got down the code. We started building the code. And uh, it looks like there are some dependencies it's not real happy with. Because if you look at the instructions, they are looking... They, they have you, for, for Linux, do a... A, um, 
a pseudo app get, which is going to get pretty much what you need. Um, let me bring this up again. See, it's going to get you what you need. Um, although, yeah, lib SSL dev. So, I have a feeling that we may be missing. And uh, I'm going to have to take a look because the error message we're getting here is not... It's, I've never, it's saying, so it's looking for a particular version or something like this. The other clue is when you come up here, um, it's looking for this. And... It's almost like it looks like it's looking for, because whenever you see this unset, that may, that usually means that something that needed to be set was not set. And I thought there was a x84, see, we include, so... That's kind of interesting. So anyway, um, we're going to uh, keep plugging at this. It looks like it's looking for this. And I'm going to try to set this and see, see what happens there. See if it um, actually works. But um, at any rate... Uh, thank you for watching. I hopefully will keep plugging at this and get this thing to go, either in Windows or in Linux or something. Um, but I think we're learning a lot. That it's a little bit. It's almost more complicated to try to build this thing in Windows. Although I suspect you can just download the latest Windows built, and uh, that should work. But the first, it it does need Open SSL, which Makes sense given the fact that it is going on the blockchain. You want things encrypted and so forth. So, um, so thank you, and I will speak to you next time. Take care.